Hey everybody, it's Mike Eilbrock, uh, Diesel Laptops, and uh, here is this um, dummy load that I was talking about that I use to fool the computer that uh, the injector circuit is closed so I have a sink during a relative compression test. All this is, is just a, it's a rheostat, okay, and it's adjustable so then you can dial it into the resistance that you need, and this one is a... Uh, it's a 100 watt rheostat, and it goes from about zero from zero ohms to, I believe, like uh, 300. I believe, um, but I got this on Amazon. It was pretty cheap. It's like 25 bucks, and then I just bought uh, some silicone test lead wire. As you can see right here okay and then I also got some stackable banana plugs uh, from Amazon as well and then I was able to plug in with my terminal test lead kit into the injector connector right here and then I've got the other injector connector unplugged as well uh, right here okay and you just crank the engine over, computer thinks the injector one circuit is okie dokie, so then it puts voltage out through the rheostat uh, so you can have your sink. And another thing you can do too is, you know, say if you, you are suspecting an injector fault, well, you can use this as a substitute load, okay? And then you can tie in and then you can scope the injector positive and negative with it and then see if you have a voltage drop okay so it's it works pretty good as a substitute load and the other nice thing about this is as well is this is ceramic so it can take uh, the heat pretty good heat sink and it works just fine for uh, the injector circuits just be aware though that you're dealing with high voltage so these injectors fire at 50 volts, okay? So I wouldn't be licking your fingers and touching these if I were you while it's uh, firing, okay? So make sure you got it secured in a spot where you know it's not gonna fall or where you're gonna accidentally touch it, okay? So just be aware of that these injectors are high voltage. And uh, especially on Caterpillar injectors, they like fire at 100. <laughs> so be very careful when you're using this, okay? So it's, it's a really handy dandy little trick, but just be mindful of the voltages you're dealing with and take proper safety precautions, please, okay? So um, so that's, that's pretty much it. Like I said, you can find it on Amazon, relatively cheap, and I uh, hope this helps everyone out. I hope uh, everyone has a, a good afternoon. Take care. Bye.